Well, hello everybody. This is your uh, move-in update, your oh. home move-in update. Oh. A lot has happened, a lot hasn't happened. Uh, we'll explain that. Uh, the fridge- It's fixed. Got fixed. That, yeah. was, that was the major thing, uh, living without a fridge for, I don't know. Oh, it was a good week or so. Yeah, well, almost more than a week. Yeah, uh, thankfully though, so what happened was, is there was something about a coil needing to be fixed. Yeah. They came and assessed it. Uh, it was covered under the uh, warranty though, Thank like the goodness. homeowner warranty or whatever yeah. the heck it is. So we got that fixed, done. Yay. Love the fridge. It's great. So You we forget got... how not having a fridge yeah, is like, we have a small travel fridge that we take with us. And so we did that. We used that, but it yeah. was like, you know, half and half cream cheese. That was about it. We didn't really have <laughs> We anything. had a lot of bagels. But today we're going to, um, I think we're going to Home Depot. Yeah, we figured we'd do a little bit of an outdoor project, especially since it's so nice outside. Well, and it's spring, right? April is when you're supposed to plant. So we were thinking, I don't know if we're going to go seed. Maybe we'll go from seed. We can get a, a, a small one to start. I don't want to get one that's like grown. That, that makes no sense. It's fun to kind of take the journey, you know, with the plants, kind of cool. Yeah, so, so that way we can experience it. But um, in one update, I at least got like all of my things for the most part unpacked in the kitchen. Yeah. So kitchen it is, is really nice. Like operational. It's, it's like I almost opened the oven as if there was something in the oven. But you know, I've got some things put away. I've got like some cutting boards. I got this. I mean, just little things. You know what I mean? Like things that you need. Oh, show your spice. Uh, drawer thing. I'm really excited about this. This thing. Look. Oh, I have to organize it still, but it's like three levels of oh. stuff. Yeah, look at that. Three it's levels. three levels of stuff. Again, I still have to organize it. Right now it was like, okay, put stuff in there. Three levels of spice. Three levels of spice. <laughs> um, we still have to get some curtains on the window yeah. in here, so we'll kind of show you all that later. I have some dishes that I've done. Um, and then here in the dining room, um, it is still just total uh, disaster zone. It's However, not. She's exaggerating, but it's just... I did... Yeah, I found an old Mac of mine, an iMac. I didn't even realize I had that. That thing is from like 2001. Um, how it's still working, I don't know, but it is. Um, we replaced some of our ring cameras and our cameras outside security stuff. Um, then for here in this room, we actually finally came up with like the design and color palette that we want to do in here. So um, Spence is actually going to make us a painting and that'll be part of a future vlog, but um, he's going to do a big painting for in here. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll save it what color palette we're going to be doing. So. And then this thing will be. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yesterland. We need to like encase this in glass because it's just such an icon now. We've been staring at it. Every night we look at it, we're like. It's this all thing. It's all out. Uh, um, so then, you know, obviously, like we'll get some placemats. Right now, we just use like kitchen towels whenever we eat here in the dining room. Um, so that's been really weird, but I don't want to get that yet. Then we're going to be putting obviously a nice rug under here to go with the color concept and everything. So I think this might be the first like room room that we work on. Then we will journey into the living room where we have another little update. Um, again, I still haven't even cleaned this window. Gotta love that. We still have this cord that we have to deal with. We have to work on some... But at least the TV is... The uh, TV is functional and it does the whole, like, you can kind of see. Yeah, swivels. It's a full swiveler. We got that one at Costco in case you guys um, maybe saw that vlog. So it definitely has been amazing. You can hear my wind chimes here. Well, the cool thing is, is that you can you can swivel it all the way out. Oh yeah! And so when we're watching, watch from the table if you yeah. really want to so, be that kind of. So that's been really nice. This right here is the top to my fountain that was on our deck. This is actually the leaf to our table. Like I, I think I showed that in our first video. Like it can extend. Um, we have yeah. some of these lights. We still haven't even unwrapped some of these chairs. So you can see we just have a lot to do, um, and a few people were like. You know, do you have as much space on your property for all the stuff you want to do, gardening and whatnot? We actually do. We actually have a lot of front yard space. We haven't even showed you all that. So um, let's go check out in the backyard because we've done a few things. Right out here, uh, this is our Disneyland rose. Um, look we at the have new it... growth. Look at how, how red. Oh, yeah, look at that. All the new growth is. I didn't even it's see that. Pretty amazing. Uh, it's crazy. I was talking about it on Instagram, just how tiny this thing was. Yeah. 
Um, so I think what we might do, because when we did this soil, we had um, a little bit of potting soil in here. So I think this one might just stay in. And then this summer for my birthday and for Disneyland's birthday, obviously we're going to get another one. Yeah. That one, I think what we're going to do is transfer it into the front yard because we have roses in our front yard. So yeah. it will join the rose garden out there. You will also notice this ugly stump. <laughs> this was a, what was it again? A it cypress a, it tree? It was a cypress tree, yeah. Um, it, we it, didn't like it because it's a big fire danger. And it blocks the window. Yeah, so and, uh, um, we're yeah. going to eventually have that totally taken out and removed. We have some of our other plants right here. Oh, hummingbird. These two are new. Uh, that geranium and then that orange thing. We're not sure what that is. But I forgot. It was are, like a fire something. we got to replant those. These are these snapdragons and we were talking about getting some more of these if we see them today um and we were talking about do we want to like put these in the ground or would you rather have these these what do you call them like a basket or a well in a in a planter because you can control the nutrients a little bit better in you know that's why they do raised beds and stuff like that yeah so i think um, that's what we might do is do another one of these um my good friend gave us this and oh. look at about to go someone is popped out but we actually have to get some soil to replant that one because we yep. broke the pot in the car and then all these are uh just other plants just other plants and then the plumerias they're about to go you can see the the tips of the plumerias we just brought them out of uh, the garage they were just dormant you know yeah they're still a little dormant um this was our plumeria the enigma right that you may remember when we got our disneyland rose this was the enigma we got so many beautiful blooms from this so um yeah we're really excited we have to get more plants figure out where we want them it's yeah. just a process you know so yeah. once we get all that going but i think that's kind of like the project today especially because we've been inside unpacking for so long it's kind of and it like rained and all that and it's been raining as you can hear it's pretty windy i gotta um, trim this thing up too it's like this it's so gangly but it's gangly uh so yeah we actually have a lot to do today i figured you know we'd go to home depot we gotta do a little bit of outside work today maybe stop and get something to eat but it's gonna be exciting well, look at this one of our local hummingbirds has come to enjoy the nectar that katie hath provided so this whole side yard right here this little section is going to be a hummingbird garden we only have two feeders up right now then i also have to remember that this kind of awning whatever you'd call it is going to be replaced i believe later this summer um so you know with that that in mind um, i think also like right here where i'm standing we're going to be putting a bunch of like hummingbird flowers that they like there's a hummer right behind you turn around all right we've arrived at home depot we're out front looking at the uh plants and things these uh raised bed little stone things that that link two by sixes yeah and you can put them on like a, a piece of wood or a pallet or something because yeah, i think this one's two yeah it looks like two two by sixes and then yeah here they are and they're on sale they're three dollars and 38 cents i like that this was kind of the a idea good option that, yeah for the, kinda... for the tomatoes because they love that kind of we can also bed. do a, a few things like they have a variety of stuff you know, I don't know. That's definitely something I would like to do. I don't know about you, but like, I like the look of this. It's a little more, I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like and it. And then if you buy 24 or more, you get them for 304. You get a oh, little okay. discount. 20% off the five gallon ficus. That's pretty good. Same with these shrubs, various roses. This smells really good. Oh my gosh. Katie said these attract hummingbirds, but it also looks like it attracts these guys bulldogs i think that is <laughs> all right i'm intrigued hawaiian punch hibiscus longer lasting all season bright and beautiful i like the hawaiian punch hibiscus that's cool it says these are called rio diplodinias like whatever that. these are i'm loving them it says that they're drought and heat tolerant good for gardens and containers here's some tomatoes but these are already like well too along like they're already you know going and everything i want to get them a little a little newer, like I think this size. This is a slicer tomato. Three of them for $10. There's a better boy right there. I think these are all calla lilies. Look at the purple ones back there. Amazing. My favorite lilies, except I want the orange ones. Wow. Because I love the orange. These are pretty too. I'd probably get one of each. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at that color. 10% off. Ooh. This is six hours or more. So that's like full sun, yeah. Pretty much full sun. Oh. These are our favorite geraniums here, these hot pink ones. 
And then there's these other ones we noticed. Look at these light pink ones have like a, another color. Pretty cool. We so easily get sidetracked because we're here looking for tomato stuff, but we're like also looking at other stuff and it's I like. I know, I can't help it. Look at these. I know, I love these. Katie, you're my shady favorite. You thrive in low light conditions. I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> these are sunflowers. I thought it was first I was like, are these daisies? No. Are sun they sunflowers? That's what it says on the bucket, yeah. It says sun fin. Oh, sorry. I thought they're not sunflowers. They're called sunflower sunfinity. So it's a form of sunflower. Yeah. yeah. The bees, like, it's a sunflower, dude. Trust me. All right, me and the bees are over here enjoying all these beautiful colors. All right, here's the tomato cages. These are extremely crucial. You gotta have something to support them. Katie, I have located the vegetables. Good. Hey, we've got cilantro. Oh, I love cilantro. Ooh, Roma tomatoes. We That's what I want. love Roma tomatoes. And literally right here, this is like, you can make a sauce right here. <laughs> yeah. Make a pesto, whatever. I do want some Roma tomatoes. Katie, welcome to the greenhouse. Love it. Look at this. Everything. Oh my gosh, basil, hello. It smells so good in here, you guys. You have no idea. Hot new deals, 348. Whoa, here we go. Katie found peaches and cream corn. We do not, I guess it needs full sun, thrives in the ground. Okay, so that's a later project. Yeah, here's some tomatoes that are already pretty far off. The husky cherry red, the Cherokee purple. We're in tomato heaven, basically. It's aroma three, Katie, look at this. Specifically for tomato paste. Hey, look. Mr. Stripey, isn't that our little friend over there, the skunk at Haunted Mansion? <laughs> yeah. They have a tomato named after him. Love that. Uh, the genuine bee steak. Look at this. Home Depot, we just gave them some money and we're gonna go put it to good use. We were talking about doing like a whole like raised bed and a whole bed situation, but I think because we started so late in the day, we figured yeah. probably not the best thing. We're gonna do like separate containers and then also we're still kind of learning where a lot of the like sunspots are and like what are gonna be our like well traveled areas because we're gonna eventually put furniture in the backyard, like patio furniture. Yeah. So I think we decided it would be best to just do containers for right now. Um, then you can always you transplant know. into. Yeah, so I think it, it was it's just a big endeavor. So it is, uh, yeah, but I'm, it was cool to do the research. So mm -hmm. there you go. Well, it is the next day. Yes, it's the next morning, as you could probably tell yeah by that uh, fade to black and then now the lighting is totally different and the birds are singing and it's it's a glorious day here lot, in the backyard yeah a lot less windy than it was yesterday at least so far and yeah. it's supposed to be pretty warm today finally it's a I perfect think, day for planting yeah i think it said it was going to be like almost 80 degrees so we kind of timed this out perfectly yeah we did uh, may rain again on friday but we're not sure um, anywho, yesterday we Well, you came know what they say, sorry to what? interrupt, April showers. May flowers. Bring May flowers. And we also have May gray and June gloom. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> anywho, uh, so yesterday we came back and we were like, we, we unloaded everything and we were like, you know what, we need to get some exercise. So we went on a bike ride. We did. And then we played some basketball. Also, uh, when we were at the Home Depot Garden Center yesterday, mm -hmm. we found a lot of cool stuff. We just started you know, kind of doing research and, and uh, <laughs> research and development. Research and development. Uh, Yesterday, we put liquid paper in a bee and it died. Yeah. Comment below if you know what video or what movie we're talking about. Yeah, because we didn't actually do that. No. If you don't know, it's a movie reference. But <laughs> so I thought, I told Katie, I was like, oh, it'd be so fun to like grow something from seed just because, oh, we have oh a hummingbird. Gosh, no, that's a beautiful. Oh, that's a bird bird. Yeah, it was a yellow bird. Oh my gosh. Anyways, he so was pretty. checking out the Disney Rose. I don't think we saw it on camera, but anyways. I think we startled him, maybe. Yeah, he was coming into. Oh my gosh, that was the prettiest yellow bird. This, by the way, this is how you know you're like older oh. now because you're so into bird watching. Oh, I was like, I, th I thought you were gonna say like, this is how you know you're in a. Zen, There's also zen a garden. bee. A bee just landed on our. He's on phone the microphone. Right he's uh, on the mic receiver. Actually, now he's on the phone. <laughs> we wanted, are in nature right now. He wanted to. Maybe he, you're gonna see him. Come in front of the camera. 
He's like, no, I'm just going to operate. No, he is. Oh, he's out. He's, he's a he's studio out. tech. He doesn't want to be in front of the camera. I don't know if you can hear. I'm sure you can hear the birds. Anyways. <laughs> so great. I don't mind that. I love it. They're like, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. That's what he said. That's so cool. Oh. Anyways, uh, we thought, or I thought, and Katie agreed and dropped the shovel. We thought it'd be fun to grow something from seed and kind of track it, you know, on the channel and see it all the way through, you know, from... If it goes through. Well, that's the, whatever I think happens, will, whatever happens, so... So we got a zucchini and a yellow yeah. squash. What's one of these birds? It's a Dixie hybrid and a dark green zucchini. And it's the container variety because we're going to grow these in containers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that and we're going to follow it along. And we're going to see if, and I'm, I'm talking all the way through to like, if it, if it works, Katie's going to make some, something with oh, these yeah. and we'll eat it. And that'll be the, that'll be the, the and, fruition. And even then Get though, it? we're going to continue to plant more things, obviously, yeah. but you guys will remember this day. Remember this day that it went into the container. And that's that. That's that. I'm so excited. That's along with the tomato plant that we bought. And, and the strawberry plant that we bought. Yes, it's Kaylee's strawberry plant. Yep. So we're going to kind of maybe let her kind of take care of it when she's here and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. All right, quickly, we're going to show you what we got. We got some organic potting mix. This stuff is good for like the raised beds and the, uh, you know, the containers that we're going to use. We still have some perlite from other excursions. We got some of this organic and natural fertilizer. These are some of the containers we're going to use. We always like these because they're pretty cheap and they just work great. This is the other container we got. This is going to go for the tomato plant because it's like a barrel. But, I, it, but We it's liked plastic. it. There yeah. was one left and we really liked it. Um, Spence grabbed these. I think these are going to go for the little seeds uh -huh. first so we can kind of get them going. I mean, you can really, these, this was five bucks uh, for all of these. So that's why I got it. I usually, I can, you can get like uh, a Dixie cup or a, sorry, a solo cup, or you can cut a water bottle in half and use that as a little, you know, right. sprout cup. But we got these. Yeah, we got those. Um, so here is the strawberry plant, Kaylee's strawberry plant. As you can see, there's already a couple of berries there. So, so cool. she's going to be so happy. She doesn't even know about this yet because no, she she's doesn't. been busy. Uh, here is our little tomato plant. We went with this. Husky cherry red yeah. tomato uh, because apparently it does better in containers. So um, we'll try that. And then again, if this tomato is successful, we'll do more. And of course, we'll raise the beds and do stuff like raise that. Raise the beds, Katie. Raise the beds. Uh, this was our kind of our wild card next to those seeds. Ready for it? My fellow Disney fans, this is a purple princess. Bougain, how do you say it? Bougainvillea? Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea. This one is bred to be smaller and yes. stay about three feet, it said. Um, a lot of times, you know, bougainvilleas, they go nuts and they're supposed to, and they, you know, vine up. And and obviously we'll end up getting more because we like them. But well, we, we got went... two because if you're going to use these, they're kind of unique, maybe like one on each side of something. Yeah, um, and we'll put them in a place where they're not going to be... Um, you know, walked past and touched a lot because they they get thorny. The other so thing, though, they're look, more to look at. The other thing that's cool about these, they have these little white flowers in the middle, so that's unique to this this breed, uh, apparently. So. I love them. I just we fell in love. We couldn't pass them up. And they again. both had crawling uh, vines on them, so we thought those kind of match. They matched each other's energy. All right, it's time for the gloves because it's about to get dirty. All right, I'm going to do, uh, we're doing a half cup of this fertilizer. I'm going to do a quarter now. That's a good quarter because we're halfway full. Then I'll mix that in and then we'll do the next quarter once we fill it. I'm supposed to do this, I guess, um, as far as top, put this on the top of the soil every couple of months. This is our Husky Cherry Red. Husky Cherry Red, say hello to your new home. Hello! So nice to be here! Now your voice isn't husky yet, but you will grow into a very healthy husky. You'll probably talk like this at some point. Anyways, just a little more. Because you want to go in deep with these, right? You want to take the bottoms yeah, you off. Take and the bottom leaves off. So 
So it's got to go in there pretty good. Probably right about there. Build the dirt around it and then pull that out. That'll be where we stick the plant when we pull it out of here. I always make sure these are watered and they slide out easier. We have to cut the bottom stuff off. All right, I think we're good. I always like to do this is like kind of loosen up the bottom without messing with the roots too much. I just kind of try to break it up a little bit. All right. There we go. Easy as that. So eventually it'll get a cage. Yeah, we got to get a cage pretty soon before it starts growing big, but we just didn't, we kind of forgot on the way out. We were just like, you know, but easy that we can grab that this week and put it in there. So we've got our squash situation. We have our strawberry plant. I think we found like this pink container is drying right now. Um, I think we're going to use that pink container, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll use that. We'll probably do that later because maybe we'll get Kaylee to help us with it. So. That's what we were talking about. So for now, what we're going to do is get Where is it? these oh, there it is. seeds like ready to go, get them to germinate and then eventually. So you're going to see this whole process. It's going to be the circle of life, right, Spence? Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Or some, the circle of something. The circle of something. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Filling the I'm just loading up these little germination pods. There it is. I take my glove off for this one. I'm getting oh, serious do. now. <laughs> the dark green zucchini. Ooh. Classic. Yeah, I don't know how many is in a pack. Oh, oh they look like pumpkin they seeds. They look like pumpkin seeds, yeah, big time. sun it's getting pretty hot out here so we're gonna finish doing we have to do the yellow look at those babies we got to yeah, do those those in the little germination pods and then we'll do the strawberry with kaylee we'll probably try to film that yeah uh but then we gotta we gotta run some errands so that pretty much wraps it up for our it's like our first phase of of doing anything here um and you know getting some plants and yeah and, we, uh, we really wanted to give you a moving and a home update sense yeah. and we'll keep you updated so uh, if you're invested and interested at all make sure you hit that subscribe button we don't just do home stuff like this we also do disneyland and other fun adventures plus you're going to want to see if these squash grow or not if, yeah if we can pull this <laughs> off um you know and like It'll the goal the goal is to have a meal uh involving our tomatoes and our squash all that stuff so uh, you're going to want to stay tuned. This, this, uh, this growing journey continues to grow. <laughs> it does. Redundancies. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, you guys. Thanks for our Patreons. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.